everybody to Friendly Crochet Creations. This is Melissa Bivens here, and I've got some happy mail to show you. Um, this came in from Krista about two weeks ago. You can see that, and it's got a little sticker there, a little label. Got some stamps from Kenya. I've never seen Kenya stamps before, except for maybe online somewhere, and so I've never seen them in person. Maybe in print somewhere, but not in real life. My airmail. One, I don't know how to say that. Kenya Airways. And so she has this little sticker here too on the front, on the back. Already opened it. There's a card in here. Thank you, Krista. Love it. The Secret Yarnery. Inspire, motivate, connect. Hello, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all that you do. You help make our community as fabulous as it is. Thank you. Massive hugs, Krista. SecretYarnery.com There she is with a huge hook that's as tall as she is. Okay. There's more in here. I have a sticker. I have a sticker. The Secret Yarnery. Bar, Motivate, Connect. Okay. Step on something. Um, there's a couple of more stickers. Um, represent secretyarnery.com. Put these on a binder or something. Cheap hookers unite secretyarnery.com. Frugal hookers yo secretyarnery.com. And a button, no less, to secret yarnery. Inspire, motivate, connect. Okay, and that's all of that. Isn't that wonderful that she sent all that to me? I love it. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, next up to grabs. Uh, I can't remember which one came next. I think this one came next. Okay, next up is this thing from Darn Good Yarn. I already opened it. It was a mystery gift. A mystery item, and I got it with my points along with two, um, two patterns, which were online patterns. This was sent this. I sent a packaging slip, of course, and um, they're beads. The you know, jewelry making kit. And see all the beads back here. And then these are a little lobster class right here. You can't really tell. They're still in the package. Okay. Um, it says, Darn Good Yarn Start at Love. There's a little note here. DIY Friendship Bracelets. Pattern. Join the fun. A lot of good information in here. Part of the club. This one is um, follow social community. The hashtag Darn with Yarn. This is about their monthly subscriptions. The fabric yarn of the month, yarn of the month, and bead of the month. Each one is ten dollars a box. This is how um, talking about points. You for a friend, you get five hundred points and help us grow, like writing a review and stuff like that. There's more information on how to contact them. I haven't opened this part. Let's see. Let's open this part for you. Yeah, so I got the thing from Krista two weeks ago. This came in last week. Let's see what this is all about in here. Oh. How is that? Why is that not opening? Oh, it's tape. Sorry, I just want to take a minute. Get this tape off of here. One bad thing about not opening it already is because it has this tape now. Okay, and I can show you the class now. Oh yeah, there's other things in here too. There's um, 
earring hooks and wire, all kinds of jewelry making things. You can make um, charms or you can make um, oh, what do you call it? stitch markers. There's little pins in here and stuff to connect things or whatever. Make earrings. Um, I'm get your own jewelry kit. It tells you everything. Okay. So it's bead wire, composed, elastic cord. Oh, those are fine wires. Okay. Earring hooks, head pins, eye pins, crimp beads. You can make earrings, bracelets, necklaces. Okay. These are the instructions on how to do those. Uh, I'll do that sometime soon. And I have decided when we get to 200, I'm probably going to do another giveaway. We're almost there. We'll have seven, six or seven more to get to 200. And I'm going to do the darn good yarn giveaway at that point in time. And this here, well, I come in last week. I've been dying to show this to you. been dying to, to work on the projects in here. It is the um, Annie's Crochet African Block of the Month. I always saw the knitting one. It will never take my card, so couldn't do that, you know. So I'm doing this one, which is more accurate for me anyways. It comes with two hooks and a, a darning needle. I think it's an H and an I hook. H hook. I hook, yes. And I used the H hook already for something else because I couldn't actually find my H hook. I couldn't find my hook that I won through the Hello, uh, the Christmas thing. Um, this crochet stitch guide. Special crochet stitches, um, general crochet information, and there's a crochet yarn weight system on the back. It's really cool. I believe this first kit was $9.99, and then the next ones are going to be like $20, like $19.99 or something like that. So, I got to wait for this one soon. This is next month. Same with, you know, the bill on the outside and sort of. Okay, maybe you can see this better. I already had opened this too, so I can look at the yarn a little closer. This came in between the yarn and the booklet. Um, Annie's Crochet Afghan Block of the Month Club. Stitch sampler Afghan. Do you want to turn on the light? Can you see things better? Yeah. That's the blanket we're gonna make. Um, this is blocks one through three. And I can't show you everything, but there's the first block. And then there's the block two. And block three. Block one and two are simple. This one's pretty easy too. They're like all beginner levels. Point three is a little more complicated. It's more of a what you would call a pattern type thing. Instead of just simple stitches. I think it's more like shells or something. So what it comes with is two of these um Premier Everyday anti pilling skeins. Premier Everyday anti pilling. Um the color is chinchilla. Kinda like it. Okay, so there's um, 203 yards, which is also 186 meters, 4 ounces, 113 grams. It's 100% anti-pilling acrylic, size 4, medium. Um, to make a square, which is 10 by 10 centimeters or 4 by 4 inches, you would use um, a 5 millimeter needles or 5.5 mil 5 millimeter hook, which is equivalent to a US 8 in needles and a US I 9 and a crochet hook and for the knitting it would be 18 stitches and 24 rows and the crochet with the hook it would be 12 stitches and 15 rows okay so you could wash it and dry it you wouldn't um you wouldn't iron it and i don't guess you would necessarily take it to the dry cleaners right here it says specifically oh, machine wash warm tumble dry normal Okay, find free patterns at www. 
excuse me, www.premieryarns.com. Here's their address in, it's made in Turkey, but they have an address in North Carolina, okay. So there's that, comes with two of these, and that should make three blocks. So that does it for the show today, and I'm, I hope you liked my yarn mail. And, oh yeah, I was going to tell you, I did go by Big Rocks a while ago, and I drove by it last weekend too. There's a lot of people down there. There's a lot more than last week. Okay, you know that my last video was two weeks ago <clears throat> on that, and um, <clears throat> it was one of the last weekend, and there's definitely a lot more people there. This weekend, they even have canopies set up. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen that many canopies down there before. I might have seen like one or two, but there's like four or five down there right now, and there's a lot of people everywhere. They're just walking across the dam. They're coming from the park. They're coming from the road. They're coming across the street from Oakdale Park, which has a swimming pool. And it's an RV park, and it's been there forever um, since, I think, before my dad moved into town uh, when he was one um, with, the, with the family. And there's a lot of history here. They say Pilexi River is where the dinosaurs walked, and they even excavated um, the tracks before and after my dad's family moved to the area and, you know, where we're living at the moment, um, some of us. And, um... There's, there's pictures on Facebook, <clears throat> on the on the Glen Rose Facebook that, that shows those pictures of them excavating the um, dinosaur tracks. And you can probably see those downtown at the museum. And um, you can see the dinosaur tracks, some of them, the ones that have not been excavated, down at the, the Dinosaur State Valley Park. There are some there you can see when the water is low. Um, you can also swim over there, you can camp over there, you know, when the water's high. But if you want to see the tracks, you're going to want to be, like, mid-summer, you know, when the winter, when the water is low, not, like, right now when the water's still up. Um, it is swimmable, like I said. And there is a black hole down there somewhere. I don't know exactly where it was, where it is located, but it's in the swimmable part. And I remember my, me and my cousins used to go down there all the time when they were in town when we were younger. And my cousins would try to swim down to the bottom, and that's impossible. But anyways, on that same road, I think I've told you before, there's Dinosaur World, but there's also a Creation Evidence Museum. And I believe they even have a replica of Noah's Ark down there right now. But I've never been over there to the Creation Museum, but I hear it's awesome, and I would love to go sometime. So if you if you beat me there to it, kudos to you. And hopefully sometime y'all can come check Glen Rose out. I think some, some have already. I'm... I don't know who that was that I was talking to, but they make hooks and stuff we're not supposed to solicit down there at the park. So I didn't really ask a whole lot, but um, there, there were two guys and they do that and they do some other things, you know, but they didn't bring any samples of the, of the wooden hooks with them. They said because they didn't really think they would um, have anyone to sell and they really didn't have any right then because they hadn't made any. So, but I don't need hooks, so I didn't really get into all that. But, um, but it would be awesome to, to have maybe to try one of their hooks or something sometime. But anyways, that does it for the show right now. And if you get to come down to, to Big Rocks Park, I'm not sure that I'll be down there or not. Um, I will surely will be looking for a new job real soon since, um, I was working at the school this last month or two. And I know I hadn't told y'all, but that's what, I, that's what, I, that's what I was doing. And after Joanne's and, um... Now that summer's here, I need to find something for the summertime and hopefully restart my substitute position back in September or whenever school starts back next next school year. And y'all have a great summer, and I hope to catch you soon. Bye. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye.